Good evening, everyone. Will here with Tamina interpreting, and we're here to pray evening prayer with y'all. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you have a prayer book, we're going to start on page 117. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Will you join me for the O Gracious Light found on number 120, oh, sorry, number 26 in your hymnal? Light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone. Immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now sunset comes, but light shines forth. The lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit God, who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord, wherefore you are through all the and in the highest heaven adored. Right, we'll continue on with our psalm for tonight, uh, which is Psalm 119. If you have your prayer book handy, that starts on page 765 with verse 25. My soul cleaves to the dust. Give me life according to your word. I have confessed my ways and you answered me. Instruct me in your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments that I may meditate on your marvelous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Take from me the way of lying let me find grace through your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set your judgments before me. I hold fast to your decrees. O oh Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, for you have set my heart at liberty. Teach me, O oh Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching what is worthless. Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant, which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the repro reproach which I dread, because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness, preserve my life. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taunt me, because I trust in your words. Do not take the word of truth out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. I shall continue to keep your law. I shall keep it forever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell of your decrees before kings and will not be ashamed. I delight in your commandments, which I have always loved. I will lift up my hands to your commandments and I will meditate on your statutes. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll have two readings tonight. We'll start with a reading from Job, chapter 12 and chapter 14. Then Job answered, A mortal born of a woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined and the number of their months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy, like laborers, their days. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake, and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again. Until the heavens are no more, they will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service, I would wait until my release should come. You would call and I would answer you. You would long for the work of your hands. For then you would not number my steps. You would not keep watch over my sin. My transgression would be sealed up in a bag and you would cover over my iniquity. But the, mountains fall, the mountain falls and crumbles away, and the rock is removed from its place. The waters wear away the stones. The torrents wash away the soil of the earth. So you destroy the hope of mortals. You prevail forever against them, and they pass away. You change their countenance and send them away. Their children come to honor, and they do not know it. They are brought low, and it goes unnoticed. They feel only the pain of their own bodies and mourn only for themselves. Here ends the reading. Let's respond with the Song of Mary in the hymnal that's number S85. Uh, S185. I'm having trouble with numbers today. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. 
He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading tonight is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival he used to release a prisoner for them, any one for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels, who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Here ends the reading. Our second canticle is the Song of Simeon, uh, which can be found on S196. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Now the Apostles' Creed on page 120. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing us mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through this coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we'll just allow a moment for your own intercessions however you feel moved to pray those, out loud or silently, wherever you are, just know in your heart that we're all praying together and that's what matters. I invite your prayers. Gracious God, you hear the prayers of our hearts. Lord, we pray that we lift these up and that you provide for us what we need in your name. God, we lift up all those who need you right now, tonight. All those who are suffering, all those who are ill, all those who are in pain, all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. God, you know every hair on our heads and every inch of our hearts. 
Lord, we pray that you be with us and send us a reminder of your love, of your constant presence in our lives. All this we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Let's pray together the great thanksgiving, which could be found on page 101, the general thanksgiving, excuse me. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you all so much for praying with us tonight. It means a lot to me, and prayer means a lot right now. Keep praying, and we'll see you all soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye.